Hey everybody, this is Kevin Knebel coming to you here today on this Schweiky Media Business Booster webinar series. And today we're going to talk about LinkedIn status updates. Now this is a topic that a lot of people really don't have a lot of familiarity with. And you might be thinking, LinkedIn status updates, why would that matter? Well actually, when you use LinkedIn status updates effectively, you can create all kinds of opportunities that result in business in terms of lead generation and referrals, things like that. So let's talk about what that is. Currently there's 300 million plus people on LinkedIn and right now you're looking at my LinkedIn homepage. So I have a lot of connections. I have uh, 18,000 plus first degree connections, 27 million, I've got my pinky up to my mouth like Austin Powers, 27 million third degree connections on LinkedIn because LinkedIn works in three degrees of connection. So here you can see on my home page, I'm going to refresh my page, and what you're going to see here in our status updates of the people that I'm connected to. So you can see here that 49 seconds ago, this was posted by Big Ideas and Innovation, that Ron, Ron Ripper posted this one minute ago. You can see that this here was posted 13 minutes ago. So you can see, similar to Facebook, and what mo most people nowadays are familiar with different social media platforms in terms of news feeds and updates and things like that, I can see all of these status updates that are showing up on my LinkedIn account, and these are the people that I'm connected to. Some of them are actually sponsored. They're paid for by certain companies. We can do a webinar on that another day. But I'm looking at these status updates. So what I'm going to suggest you do starting tomorrow is I want you now to develop this habit if you've not already developed it. I want you to look at your LinkedIn account, and I want you to once a day, typically in the morning, I want you to post some form of a status update. And the reason I want you to do this is because I want you to get some traction. I want people to start seeing your updates on LinkedIn so you develop a top of mind awareness strategy. It's not about pitching your product. It's not about buy my product, buy my product, buy my product, hire me, send me bags of money or anything like that. It's about in a more and more interconnected world, you understanding that you are a value generator. The way most people are using social media really doesn't lead to much revenue. Most people are using social media as a, as a billboard and they throw a lot of mud on the wall and they pitch their products and there's a time and a place to do that, but in a more and more interconnected world, that, that model doesn't really work so well anymore. It's really now about positioning yourself as a thought leader and a resource and a value generator. So if you're posting once a day something in your LinkedIn status update, over time, people start seeing you as a value generator. They start thinking, look at that. Every time you post something, it's something informational, educational, or entertaining. And then occasionally, you might do a self-promotion. So I typically teach my audiences or my, my, uh, my coaching clients to use a simple 70-30 ratio. 70% of everything you post on social media should not be about you. It should be either informational, educational, or entertaining. And then you've earned the right to do a blatant self-promotion 30% of the time. So in the morning, what you should do is go into your LinkedIn account right here and maybe post a link to an article. It could be something in your industry. It could be something you took off of a Google alert. It could be relevant to the, to the people that you're wanting to do business with. So typically, I suggest three categories, informational, educational, or entertaining. There's nothing wrong with posting a motivational quote. There's no lack of motivational quotes. You can go off of Google and put on there. So I would suggest you do that so that people start to see what you're posting on a regular basis. And then when you look into your status updates, when you find people who you are looking to build or deepen relationships with in terms of doing business with or referring business back and forth to, I would suggest that you like, and I don't mean this in an insincere way, 
Uh, but I would suggest you like something or comment because you're really looking to open up conversations with those people. Now, LinkedIn has a relatively new feature here. When I put my cursor over all updates, I can see the updates in my news feed and I can break them down. So if I want to see who's updated their profile, I can click on profiles and it will actually show me, give it a second here, LinkedIn is a little wonky this morning, so let me just refresh my screen here. So right now I'm looking for anybody who's changed their profile. So Chris Manning has updated his professional gallery. He's posted a picture in there. This person is following somebody. These people here, this guy has a new job. This person here has an updated profile. This person has updated their pictures. So you have a whole group of people here that we can see that have updated information that you can compliment them on, again, sincerely compliment them on, and open up a conversation. But let me show you a way to use this that maybe you might not have thought of. What if I went into here and I went to all updates and I went to my updates? So now I can see what's going on in my world. Now, you can see that I posted this motivational picture three hours ago. I posted this three hours ago, and so far, 13 people have liked this. Now, follow my thoughts through this. This might sound a little weird to you, but follow me. I'm going to tell you that what I'm about to tell you has resulted in huge amounts of revenue for me and my clients. What most people forget is most people forget etiquette. Most people, they get on the Internet, and they forget to say things like please and thank you that they would say offline, hopefully. Well, I don't forget etiquette. I call it Internet etiquette or Internet etiquette. So couldn't I look at the 13 people that have liked my picture and thank them for liking my picture? Now, that might sound a little weird. Kevin, you're going to thank the people that liked your picture? Well, why not? If I was in a, in a business meeting and you said, hey, Kevin, nice tie, I wouldn't ignore you. That would be rude. So why would I ignore you on the Internet? So here I can see who these people are. I can see the people that have liked my picture, and it would not take me more than a couple of minutes to click through these people to see who they are and see if any of these people would be good people for me to network with or develop a relationship with that maybe I would want to deepen that could lead to sales or could lead to some kind of business. So just by clicking on people to see who they are, I could see who they are and I could send them a message and say, thanks for liking my picture. Why don't we have a quick phone conversation or something? And again, I need to preface this by saying this isn't about being slick or salesy. This is about being sincere and disarmingly honest and, and have it taking a sincere interest in people. But it's going to be very simple for you to open up conversations with people where that could lead to revenue. This is why I call it social networking, not social media. Really, when you think about it, what we're looking to do is we're looking to open up conversations. And I know this sounds overly simplistic, but it's not. This has resulted in millions of dollars in revenue. Really what we're doing is we're looking to open conversations because then you can guide that conversation wherever you want it to go in a sincere way by creating a mutually beneficial win-win relationship. So you have almost an unlimited number of conversations that you can open up when people are starting to like the content that you're posting and you can engage with these people. On an average day on LinkedIn, I probably get about maybe 25 to 50 interactions per day on LinkedIn. We haven't even talked about Facebook. On Facebook, on an average day, I get between, I would say, 75 to 600 engagements a day on Facebook using the same strategy that I'm teaching you right now. So this is why I don't do any traditional marketing or advertising whatsoever, and I have more than enough business to keep me busy for the rest of my life, and then my clients, by extension, do too, because we learn how to open conversations that lead to meetings that lead to revenue. So 
I threw a lot at you there, but really what we're talking about today is leveraging LinkedIn status updates. My name is Kevin Knebel. I'm a speaker, author, trainer, and coach. I speak all over the United States and internationally on a weekly basis. If you'd like to sign up at my newsletter on my website at kevinknebel.com, K-N-E-B-L, could I please buy another vowel? Please feel free to sign up for my newsletter. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'll follow you back. Connect with me on LinkedIn. I have 27 million connections, so when I accept your LinkedIn invitation, it's going to add about $6 million to your account. Please feel free to friend me on Facebook. There is a 24-7, 365 cocktail party going on on my Facebook wall. And if I could ever help you in any way, I'm as close as the phone or email, and I'm giving you my word as a gentleman that if I could help you, I absolutely will help you. I want to say thank you on behalf of the Schweiky Media Business Booster webinar series, and I'll see you again a little bit down the road on another webinar. Thanks. Have a great day.